Yes. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm still doing lectures on thriving in the suburban economy. When you go to the suburban economy to do business and to own a portion of the economy, be very careful. Number one, don't do conspicuous display of wealth. Live a very humble life. Identify with the lifestyle of the people. Here they see me carry cassava stems on my head. They see me carry cassava. They see me carry cassava on my SUV. They see me carry poultry manure. They see me do all kinds of stuff that they do. It gives them an impression that you are not feeling superior to them. Number two, don't get into community politics. Avoid community politics like plague. If you get involved in community politics, you will make enemies. If you are not careful, you might lose your life. If you are not careful, your properties might be destroyed. Go to a suburban economy. Contribute to their well-being. Don't go there to take. Don't go there to contend. Go there to compliment. Look for something that you can do for the people, not what you can take from them. You must, you must not be in leadership position to contribute to the development of a community. Bring your wealth, bring your experience, bring your contacts. I have brought people from different parts of the world to this place. I have a fish farm there. They came here from online. I have several people I have brought here to contribute to the economy of this town. Make sure when you go to the suburban economy, don't make the mistake of Isaac. The Isaac, mistake Isaac made as he prospered, he stimulated jealousy. There is a way you can practice dissimulation. You will not stimulate jealousy. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.